your snow flap with a 3 16 inch drill bit. Drill out the four rivets. This has already been drilled out, so I'm kind of faking it. Use the pliers on the back side if you need to hold the rivet. Do not let it spin, otherwise you can melt your snow flap. Take that off. Now take one of the receiver brackets and place it right where you just removed the snow flap. Using two of the supplied 3 16 inch rivets, put them in the holes you just drilled out. Do not pull these rivets, they're just for alignment purposes. Now take your 8 inch drill bit and drill out the four 8 inch holes that are in the bracket. Now remove the bracket and place it behind where you just drilled out and using your 8 inch rivets that are supplied put them in the four holes you just drilled and pull them with your rivet gun. Place the supplied carriage bolts into the slots of the tunnel, followed by the spacers, followed by the second receiver bracket. Make sure the tabs are pointing backward. Position the bracket by using the flap as a guide. The top edge of the snow flap will align with the top edge of the bracket. I recommend positioning the bracket about 16 inches from the end of the tunnel. And you can actually have it sit on top of the light. Once you get your position correct, use the nylock nuts to bolt the bracket down to the tunnel. Once the nylock nuts are tight, take the supplied tooth washers and place them over each post, followed by the flange nut, assuring that the flange of the nut is on the top side. The nuts are upside down. This flange will assist in holding the snow flap to the bracket. If you do not have a thin or tappet wrench to tighten the flange nuts, you can simply use a needle nose pliers to tighten them up. Now mount the magnetic bracket to the snow flap in this position. Insert the 3 16 inch rivets from the magnetic bracket side through to the snow flap side. And then using a, the provided washers, place them on the rivet and pull that with your rivet gun. Repeat for the remaining three holes.
Notice these slots molded into the back side of the snow flap. They align with the flange on the tunnel. Take your snow flap, drop it straight down, align those slots, and then let it go and it'll snap into place. To remove the snow flap, simply pull on the two tabs outward and it comes right out. Using the supplied retaining shock cords, we'll now place them through the middle holes of the snow flap. If your snow flap does not have holes, you'll have to drill them in the approximately in the middle. Hook the pinch clamp through the loop so that they attach. We'll repeat on the other side. You can adjust the pinch clamp to the proper length. Now we'll want to test the snow flap storage position. Lift the snow flap off and you can see a little slot here on the magnetic bracket that corresponds with the posts on the mounting bracket. Put that on. Nice and secure. Remove, lift up, place it back on.